all so let's discuss about the today's point how to enable debugging in ssis package or what is a data viewer how to enable debugging in ssis package or what is a data viewer so let's before going to discuss let's go to the ssdt sql server data tools yeah so my sql server data tools have two tabs majorly first one is a control flow and second one is a data flow now the debugging can be enabled at the control flow level as well as the data flow level for today's question let's talk about so data flow level debugging okay so now coming to the answer so data flow level debugging can be enabled with the help of the data viewer data viewer so data viewer will help us to display the data between two components two components those two components can be source and transformation transformation and destination or transformation and transformation so this data viewer will help us to display data in your tabular format and you need to explicitly enable the data viewer in the data flow level so and it really helps the developer to identify the unexpected data values which are coming from first component to second component so there are uh, uh, very frequent scenarios so where you are doing some modifications or you are doing some transformations in the first component so when you go to second component if you are getting a wrong values then you can easily track with the help of the data viewer so now so let's enable a data viewer so between the two components so as i told i can enable a data viewer between source and transformation how to enable so let's select this arrow and right click on it enable data viewer so right select that particular arrow or constraint and click on enable data viewer okay now if you see this i enabled the data viewer between transformation and transformation now let me enable source and transformation yeah i just selected that right click on it enable data viewer so now you can see i can enable a data viewer between two components of any type so source and uh, transformation transformation to transformation transformation to destination now let me run this so if you see before going to run let me show you what is the data i have so in the plat file source i have a data with of four columns and three rows of data okay the same data is going to flow to the derived column transformations in the derived column transformation what i am doing is so i am replacing gender m with a male f with a female now let me enable the data viewer between these two yeah i just enabled now let me run this so can i see the change between this to this before going to oh, reach the multi cache can i see that m to f change in the data viewer yes you can see let me run this yeah so this is the first data if you see here if you see here it just crossed the source and is about to reach the transformation derived column transformations now this is a data your you can see so what is the data i have id name location and gender with a m and f only till now i did not change that i did not implement that logic or i did not execute that logic let me close this now if you see now if you see it it just crossed the derived column and it is about to reach a multi cast if you see now i can see that change m to f m to male f to female so this is how we need to enable a data viewers this is how we need to do the debugging in the ssis package in the data flow level now how to disable the data viewers okay so uh, for every time whenever you run it automatically shows a pop up with a uh, tabular data how to disable it in the similar way select that arrow right click on it to so disable the data viewer select the arrow right click on it disable the data viewer now if you run it so you don't get the data in a tabular format while running because i disabled the data yours and one more point by default data yours will be in the disable mode you need to enable explicitly so in the next session we'll talk about how to handle the debugging in the control flow level thank you for watching